Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. So with the increased amount of packages that I'm having to open claims for, I shipped an item tonight that was first class and it was $40, um, the value of the package. And I was like, I better insure this. It's going to California from Ohio. I better insure this package. And look what I figured out. This is awesome. Stay tuned. And before I tell you what I figured out, we're going to go right into my one minute, what's it called? Trailer? Yeah, it's my trailer. I'm going to share it with you guys in case you're new to the channel, just kind of give you a little background on what my channel is about. Be sure to subscribe, like, comment, and share. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. reseller. All right, let's get started. I picked this watch up at a thrift store for $2 and it's a Harry Potter watch and it's new in the packaging. Well, I don't know if it's new, but it is in the original packaging and I paid $2 for it and I took a best offer of $40. Now, this item is going to California, and with all the shipping delays, I was like, mm, it's going first class, it's $40, I feel like I want to insure this very cool watch. So, this is what I discovered. Okay, I'm just uh, filming my screen with my phone so I can keep things um, like the address and stuff private. So the package is approximately six ounces and I've got the dimensions in and first class would be $3 and 92 cents. You can see right there, which, okay, great. If I want to upgrade it, it's going to be $7.33 for a flat rate envelope. And I think that I just want to go ahead and add insurance. So if you look right here, you can add additional liability coverage from $1.70. So ship cover insurance is $1.70 when you're using eBay. Or you can use USPS insurance for $2.25. So I'm going to take you over to another website and show you the price. Okay, so I have already shipped the item, but I left the page up so I can show you guys this. Ship insurance, or ship insurance, insurance is what it's called, $40 insured value. And if you go over here, you can see it is 75 cents for the insurance. I don't know if I can pull back enough that you can, yeah, there you go. You can see ship, it's called ship insurance insurance through pirate ship is 75 cents. The other is a dollar 70. And what was it? Let me go back to that. I think 250 something. So a dollar 70 and two dollars and 25 cents. So 75 cents is way less and I didn't know about this so I am uh, pretty excited about this I really don't know the differences in coverage if they cover the same thing so you guys definitely need to do your research on that but that is definitely a big price difference and one of my friends said um, she has used um, pirate ship insurance on an international package and she went through the claim process and she said they were absolutely amazing. 
So that is the only feedback I have had. Um, you guys know about my USPS situation where I opened a claim. And if you haven't seen that video, definitely go check it out. It did not work out so well. So um, maybe pirate ship's the way to go. What do you guys think? Have you used pirate ship? Five cents. And please leave your feedback below if you have used pirate ship insurance. If you have filed a claim, what was your experience? And everybody come back and check the comments and maybe we can get some feedback on that. Again, I have not used this service before. So, um, I'm sorry, I've used the service, but I've never had to file a claim before. So I do not know exactly how it works other than what my friend said about the international, um, international insurance claim she filed and it went great. So leave your comments below. And I'm definitely going to be checking the comments because I am very curious. But I did use this today. 75 cents, you guys. That is awesome. So for ship cover insurance, the one that's $1.70, it says, By checking this box, you acknowledge that you've read and accepted the terms of coverage for ship cover insurance, including the limitation of coverage in that you've read and understood the surplus lines notice. So... No clue what all that is, but definitely go read it if you decide to go with ship cover insurance. And then most of us know what to expect out of USPS, but you can also learn more about rates and exclusions for USPS um, by clicking here. So do your homework and let's head over to Pirate Ship. The page that I paid on. So it says file an insurance claim. Let's click on that and see what it says. Okay, so it looks like there's two different um, processes for insurance claim. There's the priority mail insurance, which of course um, we're all familiar with. And then this is the ship insurance. So this is the one that you want to go and read. All right, so everybody do your homework. Take that into consideration and let me know what you think in the comments. Okay, so sorry I don't have more info about how the claim process works with Pirate Ship, but how exciting are those rates? They are so much cheaper. So I'm super excited about that. Looking forward to hearing about everybody else's um, experience with the claim process with Pirate Ship. If you guys can please comment below, it would be greatly appreciated. And everybody stop back, check the comments, and hopefully, hopefully... Hopefully, we will have some feedback down there for you guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. And I'll see you at the next video. Oh, before I do that, let's talk about my channel. You guys, go check out a Bolo video. Definitely, definitely, definitely check out a Bolo video. I share with you items to be on the lookout for. Items you can buy low and sell high. There should be th some things popping up on either side of me here. Click on one of those. Check it out. And thanks for watching. Be sure to check out the description of the video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.